Hey guys, a video after a long, long time, and this is going to be about our new Montessori chef. And before I uh, talk about this, let me quickly tell you about what we're going to do with our old chef. And here's what I'm going to do I'm going to convert this into a little arts corner for my son, where I'm going to keep all his art supplies and set up his arts and crafts activities. So uh, that's for the old chef. So that's not going to uh, go away from us because we are totally attached to it. Okay. And um, over to the new shelf we love it I think it looks pretty neat very Montessori and uh, it's perfect because it is at his level it's not uh, too big because we had space constraints in the new house as well and um, sadly I had to custom make it because I could not find anything which snugly fits into this dimension of our house and um, here in India we don't have anything like an IKEA so I had to kind of order it and they took good I don't know four and a half weeks to make this and ship it to us but I think it was worth the wait because my son absolutely loved it yippee um, so if you've been following us you know that you know the past one and a half months have been really quiet on our end uh, we've been busy you know doing the house shifting I've been like crazy busy with my office work so I've not really got a chance to do a lot of activities for my son so um, day one I wanted to keep the shelf really simple okay I did not really want to overwhelm him with any new activities or concepts and I wanted him to kind of revisit what he has already done so uh, there's nothing for me to explain here I'll anyway give you a quick recce of uh, the activities here um, so yeah, that's what I really wanted to share with you guys and we are following the Montessori, uh, you know, philosophy as always about following the child, observing him, letting him lead us on. Also, um, next week he's going to start with his play group. So he's going to go there a couple of hours, um, about four to five times a week. So I don't want to overwhelm him with a lot of new things at one go, you know, shifting to a new place, joining a play group, we are trying to wean him. So a lot of things happening in our life at this point. So anyway, I'm going to give you a quick recce of the activities. So first one here, a pouring work. Okay. And a sponge to clean up the mess. Then we have a dry pouring work here. All right, then lacing activity, a little bit of phonics. Then here is our number work, okay, one through five. Okay, then uh, we did this fun activity. So these are basically just foam numbers and all we did is added water into this bowl and uh, we went ahead and put these numbers on a glass window and he absolutely loved this, okay. Um, again, one more phonics activity. So these are basically um, little letter magnets and we just saw each one of them through this magnifying glass and sounded out the letters. Pattern blocks, a matchup activity. I got these transport themed um, cards from um, the site called earlylearninghq.org.uk. So you have a key, car, bus, police car, and all that he had to do is uh, match these little objects to the cards. Okay. Then a fine motor activity. So you have to just clip this on to this sheet of paper. Sticker activity, blocks, fun play with rackets and a ball, and do a dot markers. As you can see, he really enjoyed this one. So basically the point is I've kept the shelf really simple, really basic. Okay, letting him just enjoy what he already knows. Yeah, so that's what I really wanted to share with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.